Hello, and welcome to Saj Yoga Meditation. Hopefully you attended the camp at Amsterdam in the last couple of days in August, and you've learned a little bit about Saj Yoga Meditation and how to do the meditation itself so that you can feel really nice, peaceful, and happy inside. If you didn't attend the camp, that's completely fine. This little video is going to give a quick explanation about what Saj Yoga is. And in the next video, go through the meditation process as well. So Saj Yoga meditation is a type of meditation you can do anytime, anywhere to help you feel calm, peaceful, and balanced inside. This meditation was founded by a lady called Srimataji Nirmala Devi. And that's the lady's photo over here. She found this meditation practice back in 1970. So it's been almost 52 years that we've been learning or knowing about this meditation technique all over the world. If you go to almost any country in the world, you'll find lots of other people who also practice this meditation. And the reason why they do it is because it makes them feel happy and peaceful inside. In Saj Yoga Meditation, what we teach you are a couple of things. The first thing is that you can see this chart here. And what this chart shows is that in each and every one of us inside of us, no matter what religion, what culture we come from, whether we're a boy or a girl, whoever we are, we all have an energy of meditation inside of us. This energy of meditation sits in a bone at the base of your spine called the sacrum bone. And it's an energy that we might not be able to touch it or see it through an x-ray or a machine. But when we do the meditation, we definitely can feel it as it helps us to feel peaceful, quiet, and balanced inside. You'll also find when we do the meditation, you'll be able to feel like a cool breeze come out at the top of your head and even on your hands, which shows or it kind of confirms that this energy or there's something inside of us that's a living process and it works to help us feel that balance and coolness inside. This energy is also called a mother energy. Because like how a mother looks after you, this energy also looks after you inside and takes care of all your problems, all your wishes, all your dreams, everything. It knows everything about you, like how your mom knows everything about you, and it knows how to look after you. In Saj Yoga Meditation, we also learn that we also have seven centers inside of us, which almost look like flowers. And these centers are located along your spine. Again, you might not be able to see them or touch them, but they do exist and they actually look after qualities such as innocence, creativity, love, confidence, all those qualities that we want to have inside of us to make us a better person so that we can enjoy life more, they all exist in these different seven centers inside of us. Sometimes when we get angry in life or something bad happens, these centers get blocked up. And then this is why we feel sometimes sad, angry, annoyed, or we feel a bit down. And then sometimes we get sick as well. So by clearing these centers, it helps us to be healthier, confident, loving, and a person and someone who can just enjoy life a lot more, no matter what comes in our way. In addition to this, we also have three channels inside of us, like stems. And that's like the left and the right in the center. So the left one's this blue line here, the right one's the green, and then in the middle you can see this purple line that's going through the seven centers in the middle. 
And what they look after, these three lines, is your past, your future, and your present. So not only do we as people or humans have these seven qualities as mentioned, we also all have a past. So things that have happened before in the past, sometimes we think about it, sometimes things from the past make us happy, sometimes they make us sad. And then there's things in the future as well. We are planning sometimes for the future, Maybe we're studying for an exam, we're planning a party, we're planning something so we get excited of what the future holds because we all can't predict what the future holds. So in Saj Yoga, what we learn is it's important to not stay in the past too much. So don't think about the past too much. Don't worry about what has happened. Let go of it. And don't plan too much of the future or don't worry too much about the future because we just don't know what the future holds. So the aim in Saad Yoga meditation is to stay in the central channel in the middle, which is the present, meaning we want to stay in the now. What are we experiencing right now? How are we feeling right now? Let's not worry about the past or the future. What is happening right now? Are we feeling happy? Are we feeling joyful? And that's the aim. And to help us come into the center, you don't have to do too much effort at all. You don't have to keep telling yourself, oh, don't think about the past. Don't think about the future. That mothering energy we mentioned before, which sits at the bottom of your spine, and it sits actually all coiled up like a caterpillar, it's all coiled up. And when it rises up, it clears out your seven flowers, the seven centers, and the three channels as well. So anything from the past or future that's bothering you, it clears it away so that you can enjoy the present and enjoy life in a very fresh way, not thinking too much all the time. Another little thing is the word sahaja. So sahaja is actually not an English word. It comes from a language called Sanskrit. And it means you're born with, born with something. And yoga, now yoga also is used in English, but originally it's also a Sanskrit word, means connection. So sahaja yoga meditation means that it's a meditation to help us connect with what we're born with. And as we said earlier, We are all born with this mothering energy inside of us, which is like almost like a seed. It's at the bottom. And then we have three stems or channels that look after our past, present, and future. And we have seven centers of flowers that look after different qualities in us, like love, confidence, peace, satisfaction, innocence, creativity, everything that helps us keep going as human beings and to spread positive qualities everywhere instead of holding on to any negative things or negative thoughts and letting go of negative things such as anger or hatred. So in the next video, when we meditate together, you will, I'm sure, feel relaxed. You'll feel confident. And when you feel confident inside, that also helps you to feel strong. Because when we feel frightened or we're fearful, it actually makes our heart beat faster because we're worried, we're scared. And then what happens when we're scared is that we don't feel as good. We don't feel so strong. So this meditation is really, really easy. And it's really amazing how it can do so many things to help us feel nice and relaxed. So join me in the next video and we will start with our first simple meditation.